For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, check out MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, next up we've got acids and how to name them. One thing I want to make a quick note of is that there are a few different definitions for acids and we won't really talk about them too much right now. Um, just for the simplicity's sake, you'll learn more about them later. Um, for now, what we'll kind of keep in mind is that we could take an acid to be something that is HA, right? Something that starts with that hydrogen and then A um, is some anion. So H represent it will be the basically coming from H plus in the in the formula and the a is the a minus okay and that represents some anion okay or we could think about it as being hxa where x would be the anion's magnitude of charge right so in the first example for ha it's really a combination of h plus and a minus right you do the crisscross method you get ha but if the anion's charge isn't just minus one you have H plus and a X minus whatever that X is do the crisscross method that X becomes a subscript for H. So we have H X a. Okay. So we could take anything with that formula um, to be an acid. Okay. At least for now. So there are two types of acids that we'll be talking about and they are binary acids and oxo acids. Okay. So a binary acid, resulted from the dissolution or the dissolving disso dissolution of of a gaseous compound into ions in water okay that's what a binary acid is so an example is hcl hcl can be named as a uh, hydrogen chloride and i have a little um a little asterisk here indicating that that's if you were to name it using the covalent uh, compound naming system, which is in the next video, just kind of a little sneak peek there. Uh, maybe come back to this after you watch that next video. Um, HCl would split up into the ions H plus and Cl minus. Okay. So the A minus here is really just that, that Cl minus, right? So the way we'd name a binary acid is we would have the prefix hydro the prefix is always going to be hydro and then we'll have after right after that we'll have the anion root in the case um, of uh, of HCl we've got chloride as the anion right so we're gonna have chlor we're gonna drop the ide there so chlor okay that's the root of the anion and the suffix will go from being ide to ick okay so hydrochlor and then instead of i we'll have ick and then at the end we'll just add acid so if we put this all together this whole face this whole part here before acid is all going to be one word so the name will be hydro chlor ick acid right the two separate words are hydrochloric and acid okay so that's how you name binary acids. The prefix hydro, anion root, change ide to ick, um, and then add acid at the end, okay? Now the other type, oxo acids, they result from the A minus anion being an oxo anion in the HA, right? So an example would be HClO. That's made up of H plus, Right, and the oxy anion or oxo anion, uh, ClO minus, which is hypochlorite. Okay, so I'm gonna write that here in parentheses, hypochlorite, right, which we just have to have memorized as one of the polyatomic ions. Okay, so how do we name this? Well, the way we'd name this is we would have the oxo, oxo anion name, including the prefix, right? The prefix has to remain there. And if, if it's there, right? In this case, we have a prefix hypo, right? Um, and what we do is we're going to change the ending eight to ick, or if the ending is it, we change that to us, okay? I often call this the eight ick it us rule. And pretty much everyone calls it that. 
at least that I know. Okay. And then at the end, we'll just add acid. So in this case, the oxo anion name is hypochlorite, right? But we're going to change the ite into us. Okay. So it's going to be hypochlor us acid at the end, right? And that's it, right? So that is HClO. What if it was HClO2 or HClO3 or HClO4, right? Just because these are all in the same family, we might as well just name them all. Okay. Now the prefix only has to remain if it was there to begin with, right? Now, um, HClO2 comes from chlorite, right? The ClO2 minus is chlorite. So we don't have a prefix there. We just have chlor and the it will become us, right? So it's going to be chlor us acid. Okay. With the next one, HClO3, we have ClO3 minus, that's chlorate. So no prefix. It'll be chlor and instead of eight, that becomes ick, right? Eight, ick, I, us, right? So chlorate becomes chloric. So that'll be chloric acid. And the last one, HClO4. ClO4 is perchlorate, right? So the prefix per remains. And then we have the chlor. And then we drop the eight, replace it with ick, perchloric acid. And that'll be the name of that. Okay. Next up. Name the following acid, HCN. Well, we have H plus and we have CN minus. So this is a binary acid, right? Because it doesn't have, the anion is not an oxo anion. So we've got CN minus, that's cyanide, cyanide, right? So this will be hydro, right? The prefix hydro, cyan, and then the I becomes X, cyanic acid, hydrocyanic acid. And that's it for that. Okay, so you might have noticed that up until now, all the acids that we've looked at have been with only one H. They're, these are called monoprotic. Why is that? Well, mono means one, protic refers to proton. And if you think about H+, that's really a proton, right? because hydrogen just has one proton and one electron in this electron cloud. If it loses that electron, then it's really just a proton, right? So H plus is a proton, okay? So one H plus is monoprotic, okay? There are some, some acids that have more than just one H plus, right? So in the case here, H2SO4, we've got two H pluses, right? This is considered diprotic. Okay. Uh, here again, two H pluses, diprotic. And here, three H pluses. That is uh, triprotic. Okay. Cool. All right. So um, what I wanted to do is sort of mention that the, something that's, I think, is pretty, pretty important. Uh, it's the idea that there are six strong acids that you should commit to memory, and here they are. HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, HClO4, H2SO4. HCl is hydrochloric acid. HBr is hydrobromic acid. HI is hydroiodic acid. Um, HNO3 is nitric acid. HClO4 is perchloric acid. H2SO4 is sulfuric acid. You should memorize all of those the formulas, right? The formulas, their names, and the fact that they are one of these six strong acids. Okay. Now you might be thinking what makes them strong? Well, they're strong because they dissolve or dissociate into their ions completely in solution. So they go, for example, HCl, HCl is HCl like this. If you put it in water, it's going to completely dissociate into H plus ions and Cl minus ions. Why exactly does that make it strong? Well, that involves defining acids, which I'm not really going to do in this video. I just wanted to talk briefly about how to name them. That way, if you come across acids elsewhere, you will be able to name them. Okay. 
Uh, we'll talk more about acids later in the definitions. Okay. I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.